kind of how it's the pressure of, uh, not even the pressure now, it's just like, I suppose like historically, historically that's why I've gone live, because I've needed a buzz, I've needed like a, I remember when I first went live, right, it was like, I'm going live, and it was like, your my voice would shake, and you could hear it in my voice, it was like, quite fun, isn't it? It's like presentation skills, quite good, isn't it? Uh, it's the pressure, it's like, boom, right, what are you going to do? Now, now, the time is now! You know, it was that kind of thing, and, uh, you know, like, a, for a buzz, well, that's what it is, isn't it? It's a buzz, an adrenaline, adrenaline rush, you know? And part of it was like no, no getting any kind of, no getting any kind of what I wanted from people. So I'm like, right, I'll just date myself. I'll just uh, imagine I'm talking to the world. It's quite funny, isn't it? Everybody got an opinion now, don't they? But it ain't no sin to me. It really don't make any difference now to me if you don't like what you see. I pay no mind to the negative kind It's just no way to be I don't stop to please no one else's needs I'm gonna live my life for me, yeah You know, it's like, I want to do this It's my life, I'll do this I want to go live, I like talking I've got stuff to get off my chest and I did it And it was really quite good, wasn't it? So I can't lose, like I said before, I just do this all the time. Just get better at it all the time. Sometimes it's gone pear-shaped, isn't it? Sometimes it's gone, as I've said before, it just goes in a million different directions. Sometimes it goes pear-shaped. You go, I realised I was just doing it. I was just doing it a bit like a drug. I was, I was like a crutch. But I think the best, the best lives I've done have been where I've felt the need, I've like felt the need deep inside of being like really, really pissed off about something. And that's what works, you know. Uh, but I'm not really, I am pissed off, but it's no really, uh, it's no really, uh, I didn't have that edge. Minding Pacino and uh, Heat, he goes, I need that edge, it keeps me sharp, you know, when he was having a wee argument with his wife. Incidentally, that was quite funny, isn't it? I was watching one of these wee short videos that was saying how apparently in the script, right, he was on coke, right? That's that that explains his kind of erratic, kinda of angry behaviour. Remember he's in the he's in the he's he's like uh she goes out with a she he goes back to his house and he finds his wife with a new man. You know, because obviously the relationship is going pear-shaped because obviously he's out working on the limit as a as a, as a cop, you know, working at that high end, a bit like Hurt Locker in it, where he, he he needs that. He's just that's his life, the adrenaline rush, the buzz, ah, a normal life takes a hit, just like any of those performers, isn't it? Like any of the performers on on tour they good luck having having a, a relationship you know so there's a lot of sacrifice in there and that kind of thing but he's saying but he's in the kitchen and he's going he's going uh it's my television you know he takes the television he's like you can what was the line he goes you can basically you can drink out of my coffee machine you can do this or that you can bang my wife but that's my fucking television he takes the television and he's out in the car and he chucks it out of the car. <laughs> it's funny the number of times I've done that. I've done stuff like that. If I look back in my life, right, the number of crazy things I've done in public, it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, even recently I've done some stuff. But as a mate of mine said, he goes, treat it like a badge of honour. If someone recognises you, treat it, <laughs> treat it like a badge of honour. It's like, you know, you know, like performance art situationists go crazy in public. I was watching one of these YouTubers and she was saying the same thing, Mr. Melly. She was going, go crazy, you know, go, and it's like partly their fault. See, you've got to watch. <laughs> you've got to watch the content that you watch, haven't you? Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like having a big team of coaches saying, go on, Dave, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, do it, Dave, do it, Dave, go on. It's kind of like that. So, why not? Why not go crazy? But like, but it's interesting when you look at the context of that, isn't it? 
of me recently kind of making an exhibition of myself in public, right, versus like quite a few years ago where I would get angry in public here and there, right, you kind of go, there's, a, there's probably a connection there, isn't there? I think previously it'd be like angry, you know, ang if someone cut me up and I would get angry or angry at them. Now it's like the opposite. It's like, I'm not doing it to intimidate or uh, it's far from it. It's just I'm doing it to kind of entertain myself. So I'll make an exhibition just to test the free being me, you know, that kind of, even if it's just going no handed and da da da. But sometimes, like I say, I can't help it. It's not even, it's not even a contrived thing. I just go, I just go, you know what? I'm feeling like dog shit. I'm feeling like dog shit. And I just kind of, I guess when I'm out on the bike, that, that's the kind of, that's the kind of performance, isn't it? You're on stage. You might as well, you might as well be on stage. Like, you didn't skate away, girl, you know, da da da, going. Uh, what I was saying to my brother the other day, I was talking about, um, back when I used to play drums, right? And I'm going, I bet you if I picked up a drum kit right now, I would be like light years ahead of where I was, like, all those years ago. Because as you get more confident as a person, your playing improves. Drumming's a very physical thing, isn't it? A very, you have to, it's, it's, into, it's, really quite related to your performance is, is really quite related to how you feel, how confident, because it's a body language thing, isn't it? You're basically, you're basically getting your tits out, aren't you? That's what you're doing. You're playing drums live, right? You're getting your tits out. It's quite a showy, showy, you know, it's, you're, you're vulnerable, aren't you? You're showing your vulnerability. And I remember, but I used to play drums, I'm like, I'm not really showing that vulnerability. I, I would show it, it would come out. I would speak through the soul. I would, I would speak through the soul. The soul would speak, sorry, but if you were looking at it, my, my, I looked quite wooden, I was quite, didn't he look free, whereas now, if I was playing, I'd be like, I'd be getting quite into it, and I would, but, but the thing is, now, because I'm not really, I've kind of gone, you know what, it's not really, uh, you move on, and you go, because of the, asso the bad associations with that, with the old me, right, ironically or something I wouldn't be as confident even though I would be more confident see what I mean it's a bit of a strain no paradox but something like that you know I'm more confident I could you know what I mean if like the confident me could meet the me of many years ago that wasn't a confident that would have been a, a class drummer you know the kind of drummers that just go balls balls out you know just but no balls out whatever expression is laying it all out there, you know, but what the fuck is the point of the, this uh, live thing? There is no point to it, but uh, um, <coughs> but who cares, you know, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Do you care? Do you care? Do you care about anything? Is there anything that you care about? As the great flea said, he goes, if you care, you'll get somewhere. Uh, where, where is that where, though, you know? You'll get somewhere. That was quite, it was quite kind of, that was, that, was, that was a big truth, wasn't it? Back in the day, if you care, you'll get somewhere, you know? Look at me now, you know, acting like a maniac. Travelled up on backside, act like a maniac. You know. I think it's time to lay low for a while. You know. I think that's what it is. Time to lay low for a while. You know. Keep away from people. Get out of the. Get away from people. Um. But, uh, and I was taught, it was, it was interesting, was it the stove there, when was it, at the weekend there, right, and there was an older guy out in his uh, pink jersey and his Planet X fancy road bike and he was at the stove and I, and I was sitting there uh, having a wee coffee, just sitting there and he popped along and I just started got talking to him, you know, it's like talking bike, by the cyclist talking bike stuff, right, and um, uh he was saying that we were talking about 
stuff and he was going I this is cycling there's an element of we were talking about COVID and you know the bike sales have gone down and all that and no many no as many folk are cycling as 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 there used to be and we're talking about part of the thing is that you're vulnerable, you're out you're seen so you're out there seen by people, you're vulnerable, you know, that's why a lot of folk kinda of hide away in their car. So at least at least I can celebrate the fact that at least I'm not scared to get out there and be seen, you know. So there's there's that fucking there's that fucking uh, cyclist dude again, you know. It's like, I want to just be normal though. It'd be nice to just blend in, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to blend in. I mean, to get out of this fucking tin. Got to the city, you know, where you can blend in. That's what I liked about London. I remember when I was back in London. Like here, you're like you're six feet two and da da da. You feel like really conspicuous down there. You're six foot two. You just blend in. You're there's, there's always there's, there's always someone up there bigger than you. Listen, just be happy. Stick around the middle somewhere. Yeah, I remember go. I remember feeling like no tall. I was like looking around me and going, all these tall folk around me, people taller than me. And I, I felt like I felt like a dwarf in London. You know, can but. Uh, That was another thing, right? That was another thing. See, recently, right, there's a guy that works at McDonald's that I be that I kind of I chat to folk sometimes, right? And uh, I'm starting to learn, right? Rein it in, Dave, because you know how I'm, I like talking to folk sometimes and uh, have we interactions with folk, and sometimes it goes well and sometimes it doesn't, right? But there was a guy working in there, and uh, ah, this uh, this is a good thing to talk about. CI. I think it's I think it's the same weekend. It's all a blur. I've been living life uh, in the fast lane, so to speak, on on the drugs as well. That's quite funny. Natural high, you know, doing stuff. Last weekend I was out on the bike and there was a guy. Stuff like this, just having a laugh. Out in the bike and flying a bit. Just it's I can't explain it. It's the the, the a new feeling of a new free feeling is happening. A new a new. I'm, I'm riding in a, in a completely new free way. It, you know, it's it's I'm I'm a lot more relaxed. I'm sort of expressing myself on the bike a bit more, if that makes sense. And when I was out at the weekend there, like obviously I went to Cosmic Speculation with Terry and everything. And then a couple of days later, I was out on the bike flying around and just gliding around, woo, not a care in the world, just watching the world go by, no giving giving a fuck, no being self conscious, you know. Just enjoying it like like a wee like a wee kid, you know. Cause I'm still standing better than I ever did, looking like a true survivor, feeling like a little kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a guy; he was doing his uh, hedge, and it was just stuff like this. I can't explain it. Just the way I've been living recently, this the stuff that's happened and everything, right? Uh, there was a guy cutting his big hedge, and uh, he was perched on. He was perched on on the end. It was all these stumps sticking up because he was cutting the hedge right back. This massive big hedge, and he was standing on all of the. He was standing on all of the. The stumps of you know. The branches sticking up of this thing. He was standing on it like a like a daredevil, and it was it was quite a sight. Stuff like this, and I'm just kind of keying into all this stuff, and I'm going, oh, "There's a there's another like minded nutter like me." And he was out doing that, almost like those those window cleaners that you see in Glasgow, you know. And I was just like, I was like, "Oh, st oh stunt man, that's impressive, man." You know, just 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 having a laugh, you know. It's just you know, but so I did. I that was a wee ride. That that happened when I was out on a ride. I was flying a bit. Uh, just uh, just enjoying myself. Going here, stop there for a wee coffee, chat to the guy. You know, there's everywhere I go. There's folk. There's some cool wee bits, cool wee folk, cool folk that work at some of the bits, and I go in 
Kilford have a wee coffee chat to the guy. He always gives me a nice reception there, and the two guys that work at the flower shop, and I just get to chatting to those. It's like it's hilarious. <laughs> it's really quite funny, you know, just chatting to those folk. And uh, after after I did that, I got to McDonald's, right? And I sat in a hang, and then there was that same guy coming out of McDonald's that I, that I would speak to occasionally, right? And I was chatting to him another time. He was out having a vape and a coffee and everything, right? And I was, uh, but this time when I saw him, he came out of McDonald's for his break and I started chatting to him. And you could tell he was like in a stinking mood. A stinking mood. He looked like he was really, really pissed off. He was like, and he just totally blanked me. And I was like, we've well, you've chatted before. And I'm like, fucking hell. You know, like I didn't exist. I was sat there and I, and I went to kind of say hello. And I was like, oh, how's it going? And I was like, oh, I've nae, I've nae mates. You know, and chat to me, can I? And, uh, and I was like, and then he just, he just looked at me, like, looked right through me. Like I was saying before, he just looked right through me. And he was like, um, he looked right through me. And he was just like, aye. As if fuck you, stop! I'm not, I'm not in any mood for you. So you know, it's quite mad, isn't it? When you're like flying high, your spirit's soaring, and you feel like I'm not some maniac, I'm not some weirdo. But when I'm out and about, I do like chatting to folk and everything, you know. But some folk just aren't up for it. Uh, I'm not saying I'm doing this thing where I'm in the car park going going around all the cars talking to them. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when I'm out and about, I try and make a wee bit of conversation, you know. Can, because... Uh... But a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's been quite fun. There's been... Uh... What can I say? What can I say? The party... We didn't have much money. It's amazing what... Well, this is a wee positive thing to finish with, right? When you don't have much money, it's amazing what kind of kind of fun you can have. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's actually... It needs to be said, you know. You can have a right party. You can have a right party on nay money. On nay money, just by, you know, do, creating your own fun, you know. And, uh... Yeah... You know, that's what we have to do sometimes, isn't it? And, uh Sun was it today, though, wasn't it? That was nice, wasn't it? It was really quite nice. I was out in the sun today. Streaming away, you know? Streaming. Streaming our big, long snake, you know? Poking our hay with my pitchfork, you know? And uh, working to the sound I'd found coming up from the ground on our mounds, stuff like that. Uh, I working at doors does make you go crazy. It does. It does. Uh, I'm starting to realise this. You got to have balance in life. You can't just be working at doors in your rain with your brother all the time. And the like. The sun is supposed to be like death of a salesman, isn't it? Right. This like the the the. The summer, it's like the summer, the summer, right? Flower blooming all the time. Smell the roses, smell the grass. Old man winter can't kiss my ass. The summer, this is the time when we're supposed to be kicking ass. You know, this is this is what we've waited for, isn't it? We're supposed to be kicking ass. We're supposed to be living life to the full, and you know, but because nobody's got any money, it's not exactly easy, is it? But. Uh, Supposed to be going for it, and uh, as uh, see the, the 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 training diary things I was doing, it's months ago now. It seems like an eternity ago I was doing that, right? Uh, and I uh, didn't even I didn't I didn't uh, enter the growler. But you know what the funny thing is, I went out in the bike and did that big long ride there, and I did it anyway. The fitness is actually really quite there. It's not even funny how, because Terry, I was doing it at Terry's, and Terry gave me a shot on his bike. 
as well. That was another glorious thing. See what I mean? It's simple things in life that I want. Simple, uplifting things in life. Just going right to Terry's, right? And he wasn't in. And then I waited at his door and nobody answered the door. And then two seconds. See what happens when you get to this level? Two, two seconds later, he pops his head round. He came in for a bike ride. It was perfect timing. And he came in on his specialised tarmac and I finally saw it. I was like, oh, that's that. So I mean, they just spoke to me. It was like, oh, look at that. Fuck, 17 years old. Look at the state of that. Glorious red racing bike, and he gave me a shot, and it went flying around the bike and stuff like that, flying around the bypass, like living the life in the fast lane. It was really quite incredible. <sighs> Having a wee shot on Terry's bike, and then it just bumped the fitness up. And uh, I think if I get on the weekend, if I got it all day, it's not even funny. Like I say, if I did the growl, like it's not even funny. I would easily be able to qualify. I got top twenty. I got in the twenty thirty three percent. Last year, tw top 25% qualified for the World Gravel Championship. I didn't have the money, didn't have the uh, various things going on, didn't want to overextend myself, didn't want to do too much, so I never entered it. And the hilarious thing is, I'm actually so fit that I could probably do well at it, and the weight's coming down and everything else. So I'll just have to wait until, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll end up being, still got stuff, I'll peak in September, what can I say? It's a slow burn, isn't it? The, the, the cream always rises to the top. Anyway, it's been a bit of a stream of... Uh, it's gone away in a few other wee different directions there, isn't it? But uh, it's all it's all coherent. It all, it all meshes together in some kind of coherent way, doesn't it? Because, uh, you know, that's what it is, isn't it? Uh, so... Ah, I'm really quite fit, Ken. I'm really quite fit. I could, like I say, if I go out this weekend... Warm, humid, close like it was today. If I go out again, I'll easily hit 20 mile an hour for 100 mile, 100 odd mile. And then, so it becomes really quite creative. See, when you're this fit, right, it becomes really quite creative, I think. You can start playing with it. You know instantly, you know in the first four miles, you're like, you know whether you're going to do well, you know. I know whether I'm going to do well in the first four miles. I can feel it in the legs, so I'll be like, ah. Oh, 105 miles to go, no problem, I'm going to have fun with this, it's kind of like that, I'm going to enjoy this all the more, you know, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to have fun with it, play with it, be creative, as Chris Borman said, when you start getting fit, it becomes a creative exploit, you start playing with it, and then you come back home, beautifully euphoric, having painted a glorious uh, picture on the canvas, uh, uh, to put up on Strava, I know that it's all about that, but uh, you can, uh, uh, 